Hey guys, it's me again. I know it's been a while since I, since you got a video from me. I've been super busy. I've been getting uh, volume two of um, of the Rockhound series uh, in place, uh, getting the template going. It's looking real nice. So you're in for a treat come uh, mid-April when I release it. Uh, again, it'll be on my um, on my website where you can buy it quite easily. Uh, www.rockhoundbook.com. Uh, so Jeff and I were down here at the at the Montrose Occurrence. You can see over there. If you can see, I don't know if I got the camera. They've repiled the rocks, so there's some good options for looking. Uh, but I just wanted to say something. Good spot here for fluorite, especially uh, I'm noticing on, on some of the better specimens that uh, Jeff has. There's my man Jeff. He's hiding from the camera. Um, some of the better spe uh, best specimens, we've got uh, some really interesting two-phase inclusions that he's uh, managed to photograph. So each uh, this pile here is freshly turned over, but each big boulder seems to have its own kind of mineral that it's rich in. In this particular one we've got dollar stone crystals you can see. Um, over here sphalerite. When I look all around um, there's sphalerite all over this and you can see that obviously this occurs in, in the plains and the, and the fissures so uh, those fissures also indicate a, a line of weakness. So if you want to open this up and look for freshly crystals, freshly exposed crystals, you just have to work on the on the cracks and the crevices. It'll cleave it off, and it'll probably show you fresh crystals not seen by other rockhounds before. So I'm gonna man, that's real nice. We got calcite, we've got dollar stone, pinkish dollar stone, and we've got selenite all together in the end of this of this rock. That's a keeper, I think. Okay, there's the end results of my chipping here. Not sure how well you can see it. Let's get it out of the sun. Selenite, a little bit of a pinkish matrix. That's what's after I've done all my work here, chipping away. Ah, there's quite a, there's a sphalerite crystal that's quite a bit larger. It was just the surface luster that caught my eye. So I have chipped very carefully around the edges of this cavity to get the sphalerite out. I'm going to extract it with my straw here. Let's see how this works here. Uh, and you can see it's really loose. Oh, nice crystal coming out. Big crystal. And look what I've just pulled out. Lovely sphalerite crystal. A zero, zero Sprite. I'm on a diet, by the way. Lost a lot of weight lately. Look at that. So I'm no huge expert in sphalerite, but it looks like it's actually two crystals fused together and this lovely sort of deep, almost a lemony color when the sun catches it right. A lot of the other sphalerite in the area is a deeper sort of an amber. This is almost lemony. You can see the little glint in the bottom there. Very beautiful. Oh, go, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you're taking off everything. The bug right there. I think be we real careful. grab this and roll it over. Ah, look at this. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, you got yeah, some crystals really. in there. You got some crystals. Oh, very nice. Ooh, yeah. Chip there and then we sit. It would be. This has been a sphalerite day. We found some really good sphalerite. Um, we're still working at it, but, you know, Montrose occurrence. Sphalerite in certain rocks. Just keep breaking them apart. Thank you. Try my best. Yep. Just don't break the crystal. So there's boulders, these really good boulders from the power canal, all over the side of this hill by the lows. Um, as you can see, just behind me, and apparently according to Jeff, across the back end there's some down there as well. So we just kind of, the whole hill is built of these boulders. So I hear they're going to do development one day soon. We're going to clear this off, and uh, when they do, um, you're going to find some great stuff here. You've got to see what Jeff has just found. Look at that for a fluoride crystals. This whole boulder has them all around. It's got some minor stress fractures anyway. But... Here it is. Kind of wanted it with a, with a rock around it because there's some other fluorites attached, but it popped out and it's as whole as it can be, so I'm happy with it. I think that's about as good as I can expect. I know I call it the day of the, the, day of the sphalerite, but I think it's really the day of the large fluorites. I mean, I took out a chunk of the vug. It seemed to come out whole. There's still a little bit left there, but not much I can do about that. I think that's my favorite 
one. I know Jeff found a bigger one, but this one's definitely the clearest one. Uh, very nice. And I guess the secret, just rolling over the boulders. There's what's left of the boulder. Just tip them over up on the hillside. There are boulders everywhere. Just keep tipping them over. You'll find the stuff that other people haven't found. I guess that's the secret to any rock hound site, right? You just uh, go where others haven't gone.